All right. So, everybody's heard about the infamous Kanye West deciding to pick and choose his battles when he goes up to interrupt people. First, first um, Taylor Swift, now Beck. You know, my theory with Kanye West is I give the dude some props. He's selective of who he picks on because, you know, if it was Pink, Pink would have just beat him up on stage. Well, Pink kind of about the same size as uh. And yeah, and Pink, <laughs> and Pink, mean Pink right ain't across. no B. She looks so like that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so, real t- and then a couple of days ago, of course, Kanye West apologized to everyone he ever did this for. Not like anybody gives a crap about his apology. So he got a new album coming out, don't it? It doesn't matter. He sucks. So why he don't suck? Yeah, he does now. Not the music. Kim Kardashian. He might. He might. Well, <laughs> right. I, I want to start with Listen P on this one. So the question is The fabulous sexy the comedian fabulous, sexy of Lesson P the first lady of Legacy P, Internet Radio again uh, on exactly. our two year anniversary. Don't cough or yes, you must clear your throat again when you Ooh. represent and being the first lady. Again of Legacy Internet Radio, call us at eight oh eight oh four four zero two two eight nine three. It's the yak, the yak the yak. Don't talk back. Let's go, Ruben. All right. So the question is, really? what kind of punishment should there be for Kanye West for doing this ignorant stuff? Well, <clears throat> I feel that um, people, they, they laugh at Kanye. Um, but I also, again, feel like Kanye is going through a few things. Um, I really think that he took a big turn because, I mean, he has not changed too much before the death of his mother but i do feel like that the death of his mother changed him a lot in the aspect of how he treats people because i feel like he feels my mom is gone so really yeah and that's really the mindset that you have when you lose a loved one and not only when you lose a loved one that you expect you know due to an illness or what have you but to lose someone unexpectedly that's that's totally different so again i feel like that nobody can do anything to kanye because i feel like kanye west because i feel like people are afraid of him so really who's gonna say something to him if you saw kanye in the street nine times out of ten big rube you're not gonna go to him and tell him everything that you're doing is buffoonery why you're not gonna say that i mean no i wouldn't big talk Joe, you probably, i think it's uh, whack you're crazy i think though. it's whack but that's i mean it can be whack but again, I heard you all say prior, you know, before I got here on the TuneIn app, um, again, listening to Legacy Internet Radio, how you all stated that uh, n- no, Monique. either negative or positive, you know, if you you got to get talking about it. you want to get you want to stay out there. And again, you know, when you bring up the Kardashians, that's what they do. You know, a lot of these people say that they call the paparazzi wherever they're going to be so they can be there to take pictures or what have you. So, again, Kanye, I really don't feel that he's doing it for attention. I feel like it's just him. And he's very outspoken, which I feel like, again, he says a lot of things. As much as people talk about Kanye, I feel like that he says a lot of things that a lot of us want to say. And because he is out there and he has that platform, he can say it. And, again, who's going to say something to him? Oh, Kanye's an idiot. Who's going to say anything to him? Even, 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 when, even when the president yeah. made, you know, even though the president can't say as much as he would like to say, but when he basically called Kanye an idiot, I mean – Really, that didn't stop him. That still put him in the news. So, again, negative or positive, he's still out there. But we said that all publicity is good. Good. Yeah, but I feel like, again, a lot of people also have that just for show. I feel like that's really Kanye. I I feel like that everything that he's doing, it's really him. But I feel like inside of that, it's a lot of hurt, you know. He touched. Yeah. He, I honestly, I I, 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 I I separate the... The public Kanye from the music Kanye. You think his music sucks? I think his music is is good. I mean, look, I, I'll give you an example. The music that he does now is no different than Outkast. Really, it's mm-hmm. kind of it's it, it's it's not rap rap. Wow, it's not it's not rap because they, they did Hey Ya, they did uh, they, they sung on pretty much they sung they it's no different speaker than speaker box. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, they did the speaker box out. My point is, is that it's all about what you put out 
in front of your music. And what Kanye has done is, is he put himself out before his music. I'd separate the two. Yeah, he could be an asshole, but you know, let him be an asshole. The music otherwise is is, is I right by me. You know, and I don't look at him as like a, 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 a altruistic rapper. He's like a musician. I don't look at him like, uh, right. you know, he's gonna sit there and get the one, two, a, a one, two, and beatbox. Nah, yeah. he, he's gonna sample, he's gonna auto-tune, he's gonna put the music out, and that's it. He gets ahead of his music, in my opinion. I don't, I don't know if I agree with you, uh, Drizzy, because think about, um, the jo- what was that one he did with, with, with Jay-Z, um, the joint <coughs> over Paris? Um, okay. yeah. that's, a, that's, a, that's a little bit more hardcore. Yeah, it brought a message a little bit more. Well, I know yeah, a lot of kids who didn't that's understand. Not that's, that's not the rap that I, like, that's not the rap, like, um. I mean, but you know, you you used to NWA cruising down the right. street in my six four, so jocking, the, jocking freaks. the freaks. Yeah, exactly. So, so I don't know. expect I don't expect that from Kanye. I think what Ruben is saying is he don't like the artist himself. He don't pay attention. Well, the Kanye art, is the, a clown, but I mean, yeah. but he's a clown with a purpose. Exactly. Let's be real. He's a clown with a purpose. I mean, all justice were in courts for a reason. Yeah. He's there to make everybody laugh. Yeah, he's there to make everybody laugh. Now, does he say some socially conscious things in the midst of, as Lisa P, in the midst of what he does? Yes. Now, does that sometimes take away from what he does that could be really beneficial? All the time. Yes. I mean, go ahead. No, but I feel like this goes back to the whole Monique thing. You know, a lot of people give Kanye a lot of flack because, again, of how aggressive he is and about the things that he says and the things the things that he does, like how he interrupts people yeah, on really as wrong. far as that was wrong what he did to the Taylor Swift show. Dog. Come on, yeah, you know, oh, honestly, you Beyonce with kids. Was Beyonce was better than Still. Taylor Swift, yeah, but you know what? If I was the lit, public, if I was did lit, that. I would do that. But the public did no. that. You can't leave, leave that little white girl alone. Don't you be ignorant. She ain't want it's no not problem. ignorant. It's but the truth. You know when I when I start when I start. Hold on, hold on. Let's take a poll. It's in that grant that grant. It was the Grammys or the American Music Awards. It's one or the other. You trying to tell me musically Taylor Swift and Beyonce for an award of the best artist? Who's better? For the American Music Awards, when it's based on what them sales, Ooh, I almost said, I almost said. Yeah, something. you can say sales. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it's based on, but it's, just, I'm just, <laughs> I, I, I plead, I plead to, I plead to your inner, you it, know, um, your gumption. Like what that is, is based the the your gumption, Beyonce and Taylor Swift. But, but, but the thing about, with? but the thing about it is, that's clearly based on record sales. Clearly. Okay, but all right. So your gumption, and I think well, that's it's not my Con- gumption. It's your it's gumption. The fact. Is, that's what Kanye is going on. He's saying. Come on now, look, for real, for real. What's, 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 what you rocking with? Which, uh, what you going? Which, right. which, what nine times out of ten is in your rotation? Beyonce well, or Taylor it's Swift? It's like this. I'm, I'm gonna take the last word because we gotta move on. Okay. But it's like this. You're not answering the question, but well, I'm, I'm gonna get say, it. Said, uh, Grizzly, stop being disrespectful. To who? Just said, stop being Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, man. But, I, but, that but, what, I, but uh, what I'm saying is basically, it's regardless of how anybody feels of what. You know who feel Beyonce better, Taylor Swift better, back better, Beyonce. It really doesn't matter. The fact is, he took negative personal responsibility to go up and interrupt somebody. That is that. Hold on. That is not. That is not good. I don't care. I don't care if he was right or wrong. The fact is, he interrupted somebody. And last time I checked, but that's still you teach your kid. You teach your kids. Don't. I don't. If my kid sees something that ain't right, I tell him say something. Uh, I'm, but you know that, that, that I don't, I don't know about all that. Uh, but it's just a good point. The Redskins, it's two the, good Redskins the Redskins signed Albert Hainsworth to a hundred million dollar contract. But that's got nothing. You gonna say it. something about it, right? Not in the middle of them signing. Yeah. You the should. Hell you not? Well, you're right. You should. I you know. You should is my point. When, when, my point is is that Kanye says stuff that a lot of people don't want to say, so he says it for you. Well. Kanye is whack. Kanye is whack. He, he's whack. He's, he's, he's just whack. It's just, he's whack and he's disrespectful. And that's, that's all I want to say on that. Big Rue, what you got? All right. Um, now, we've actually talked about this a little bit on the show before. But recently, um, Michelle Rodriguez has been kind of put out there about the word on the street is that she's going to be a Green Lantern in the next Green Lantern movie. Huh? Hope, oh, no, they and, and, we, and we and we get into that, oh, no. and you know, basically it's like 
And her thing is, what? Because it's, you know, it's here speak. Because apparently the word, the word on the street Marvel. was, the word on the street was she was going to be the lead Green Lantern. So instead of uh, Hal Jordan or Jon Stewart, it would have been whatever oh, no, chick she said to be. Hold on. And, and this is what she said. That's she true. was like, look, um, quote, she hold. I'm not. It's not take. It's not about taking Catwoman, or Superman, or Green Lantern, or whatever. Um, these characters are making them to fit whatever cultural background you are. You know, I think people should just stop being lazy, and that people should make an effort in Hollywood to develop their own mythology. Basically, what she's saying is, yo, all these superheroes are white. Why can't we come out with our own superheroes? What? Well, well, hold on. But he ain't white. But yeah, but. Go back. The original Green Lantern was not Hal Jordan. Yeah. It wasn't Hal Jordan. Yes. No, no, Green Arrow, no. That's no, the original. Hal Jordan was the original. Yeah. Okay, he was the original. It was Tomar Tomari, Tomari, then Hal Jordan, then Jon Stewart. But jo- how, Tomar Reed was an alien. So don't come with that. Hal Jordan that's, was the original. Hal Jordan. Her point is. Tomar Reed ain't black. Yeah. He had a fit on his head. John Stewart was the black. But her point is, yeah. like, why isn't a why why isn't a woman playing a superhero no. role? And I'm sitting there saying, Wonder Woman, got she Wonder got a role. Miss Marvel, they done made Thor a chick now. Thor ain't no chick. Yeah, they done made her a chick in the comic book. Yeah, Thor, Thor, Thor didn't chick. turn her into a chick. Female. It's blasphemy. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. serious. But yeah. but what's wrong with that? But you know, the hell but there is. Of course oh, there is. You don't make nobody from Asgard. Just no. create a new character. You don't Only make th- Thor a th- chick. I don't even chick. Whoa, three. whoa, stop. But have you seen the new Spider-Man? Stop, stop. They got stop. a Spider-Man. Oh, hold on, hold on. Stop. Let me explain a couple things. Thor ain't no chick. Thor is still Thor. However, he is not worthy to pick up the hammer. And a woman was. And a woman was, and Milnar. now, and, and no, now she Ruben. is Thor. What's his name? What's her name? Milnar. You talking about Mondu? Mondu? It's Mondu. Yeah. It's Milnar. Whatever. It's Whatever it is, is a. Is, we not. We not uh, that's Norwegian, not so we can't speak. But basically, that. what Mar- Michelle Rodriguez is saying is, why do we need to be all these other white superheroes? Why can't we come with it. our own? Now, with that being said, the we have movie. we have a. We have a we had a gentleman on the show one day, who created his own superhero. I, I know brotherhood, brother brother man, yeah. and stuff like that. Now the reason why I bring this up is because I, my question to you is: Is Michelle Rodriguez right, or are we just faking the funk? She's got. All right, my point. Uh, I, to, the way I answer that is: She has a point, but I mean, like, to 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 to, to your point, like. If women want more superheroes or superhero inesses, is that the right word? You know, to put be portrayed in comic books or in movies and stuff, create them. But you they know? weren't there. I mean, let's they go back. There in the beginning. How many women do we know that were in truly? I can name one woman superhero and one woman supervillain. Huh. Right now. Miss and they were both Mystique. white. No, I mean, I'm not even talking. I'm talking about. I mean, I'm gonna go back to. Um, You're talking about the cheetah. I'm talking about and the Wonder cheetah Wonder. and I'm Wonder Woman. Oh, Those yeah. were the originals. Now, if we, yeah, they were. Yeah, now, they if were. you want to go back to, like you said, Mystique, great. What was Mystique? She, she was blue. <laughs> she was a Smurf. Right. They could change colors. I'm good with Mystique, but what I'm saying is there were a lot of people who were not in Marvel, mm. who ended up being women, and we saw that with the whole X Men. The whole X Men drive what is Michelle was Michelle Rodriguez lot. beef. Because I'm like, I ain't it wasn't, seen no Mexican. She didn't have beef. It was people had beef with her because they thought she was going to be the Green Lantern. She can't be the Green Lantern. She can be a... Wait. She can be a Green Lantern. She can be a Lantern. But she's not... She's not our lantern. Well, let me just say that I am the Shiro of Legacy Internet Radio. So let me just put that out there. Yes, the Shiro. So again, because I'm not saying anything, if you want to agree or disagree with these guys, please give us a call at 804-402-2893. It is our two-year anniversary. We ain't got no cake. All we got is liquor. So you know it's a black party. We did have some trail mix, but old girl took that with her when she left. So one more again, we got some brown liquor, we got some pink stuff, and we got these little droplets no more that's turning into vaporizer. So again, this is Legacy Internet Radio. We are here Monday through Sunday. Now, we're here. And I had to put all of that 
promotion in because again i don't give a two cents what these guys are talking about and being that i'm the only chick left yes because sy left the building but again so again hopefully we can move on past this because i don't care do you all care if you all care you you all need to call you all need to call and let us know if you care or you all need to comment on the facebook fan page and let marcus j know because he's manning the boards so he's gonna let us know if you all care Yo, Mark, he should make care. you a superhero, the comedian. I am, yes. yo. I am definitely Where a your cape? I'm a superhero. What's your colors? What colors you got? Outside of the bed. All right. Marcus. your cape on right now? Marcus. What's your opinion, Marcus? And Ask me a question. His opinion. I mean, well, do you feel that Mark, Michelle Rodriguez is yeah. correct? Correct. I mean, she how do you feel about that? saying what she said. I mean, because the truth of the matter is, superheroes are superheroes. Who wrote? You know, we had a we had a we had a point in history where they're mixing and merging, <clears throat> you know, different re, you know races and all that kind of stuff. You know, I didn't think that it was necessary for someone to come out and say black people, Latino people, so-called American minorities, because we know minority is a bullshit phrase when we talk about American people of color are stealing white people superheroes like to me that was whack as hell for her to say that and the comic superhero that she was allegedly linked to was a latino female green lantern you know so i don't know if she was literally up for that role or if they attached it to her without her kind of endorsement mm-hmm. a Monique day. you know but for her to <laughs> come out and say you know you know let you know Stop. minorities are trying to take white people super to me that was just whack you know certain things that as a so-called american minority and i always like to put that kind of disclaimer on it because we know that people of color are the dominant culture in the world mm-hmm. in america maybe not so much but for her to say that to me was kind of whack Okay. Especially when she was attached to the Green Lantern with regards to the character yeah. that she was. Listen, you was gonna say Let something? me just say this really quick before we wrap it up because I want I don't want to take too much more time on this. But um if we really can't get a black Disney princess, then I know they're really not gonna, we got one. gonna uh, yeah. What Princess Jasmine? Is that who you're no, speaking of? No, the frog. Yeah, Princess that's, Frog. That's not Jasmine. Oh, well, who's Jasmine the other one? was Arabian and um, Tiana. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Princess Tiana. 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 So that one. Okay. Okay, but oh, oh, what's so that? Does that mean we're making oh, progress? Oh, we're give a yeah, yeah. Oh. So, Big Bro Joe, does they that mean we're Stitch. making progress? So, what was Lilo and Stitch? Lilo. I don't was know. Hawaiian. She was like Filipino, but no, what have Hawaiian, you? Man. Yeah, Someone, she. Okay. She was a but again, <laughs> again. I feel that they're not going to be so pressed to have a female superhero unless you want to include Catwoman. Shout out to Holly Berry and Michelle Pfeiffer prior. Was you know what I'm saying? But again, it's this is such a male dominated industry that you're not going to find too much of it. And not only is it a male dominated industry, even if it was to go to the whites, it would go to the white females first. So again, not now. also, yes, it is because again, like I said, I know we're not going to go back to the story of Monique, but to pinpoint a little bit of that, Monique asked for significant things, which I can appreciate because again, like she said, one thing she fought for was for her and Gabrielle Sidibe to yes, sit first class because, like she said, we're two big girls, we can't be sitting in coach. You know what I'm saying? So I can appreciate. I sat beside a big girl in coach this weekend. And come back with and could you hardly breathe? Probably not. It wasn't the she most was by comfortable. The you feel me? So again, I can understand to that aspect. You know, so when it comes to the controlling stuff, and yeah, your attitude may be a little switched up. But fast forward to Big you. Rube's question, I really don't feel like they're going to be too pressed on getting a female superhero anytime soon. But wait, Storm was a major figure as a superhero. She was an African queen. I need, and again, if people, even okay. when people want to have controversy, when they want to have an argument, one of uh, an ignorant argument they would have is, boom, Holly Berry, just like President Barack Obama, is not all the way black. So again, give me a sister who has a black father and a black mother and make 
Who, oh, so now your president so, ain't so black. Ma- so make so so Tinka so Tinka Sumter make her a superhero. Who? She's beautiful. Tinka okay, Sumter. Okay, so you gonna take the other chick who played in um Twelve Years a Slave and make her a superhero? I don't really give a who. Yeah. Why are y'all bugging so much? Are they gonna pick her though? You are they gonna what? pick her? You it's being really, a really brother, crazy. are they gonna who pick her? Gives a flunt? You know what? I'm a, I'm Joe. We don't. We're I'm a, not I'm a supposed go with my to. Boys. But I'm somebody's go with my boys gonna care right now. That's I'm why I take up the shield for everybody. That's why you don't see us on big screens. To try to you don't see us. That's why you see us going straight to DVD. You see us going straight to DVD. You will bootleg us regardless. Exactly. You'll bootleg us because you can't. I'm a bootleg white people. It don't make no difference. It don't make. I mean. His his, I think honestly though the point is, is that when we talking about superheroes and women, the first thing that I said to you while they were going at it was there's Storm and there's just one. It ain't it ain't too many other. We we named that they just converted Sto- uh, Thor to be a female, and then we got Miss Marvel, yeah. She Hulk. I, I mean, like but I gotta reach. I gotta reach. Yeah, I gotta reach to find. Yeah, what? I got to reach to find a female superhero. I, in the, in the and movie. I understand that. She wrong. So you know, that's my point. But the biggest thing is we must understand the majority of superheroes that were coming out were created in the 40s and 50s and 60s. But where white. where everything for, for, them, for them, everything was white and everything was male. So, which is funny oh, because no, if anybody watched Agent Carter, most people probably did not. That whole that whole series was about the inequality of women and how she can't the the people then believe that she could not do a was good she, job as huh. a man and she was relegated to getting coffee girl. and all that stuff. But the problem was she was a main focal point in the first Captain America movie. I get I I liked her. And the thing about it is her whole series was about all those dudes not thinking she was good enough. So yeah, she was white, but it's 1940. The fact that it was a woman who wasn't in getting 40s, coffee was in the 40s doing something important was yeah. already a shocker. And then to have a series about it, which basically but said... But they didn't make her ultra superhuman. They made her... Well, no, she was a regular chick. Yeah. But the problem was, even in the 40s, women weren't regular chicks. Super- they were Wonder just, Woman was. Wonder Woman well, came out there. I understand that, but I'm saying that the ma- women as a whole... Won't regular. She lived in a place full of women. They mm. had to be in there by ten o'clock at night. It was run by a woman. All I thoughts mean, be in by ten. Exactly. Mm. You know, it was just one of those things. You couldn't have men there. <laughs> it's the whole situation. Right, Whereas to me, I, I think, like I understand the points, and it, it's funny that it's come back to this Mo- Monique situation because I still think personally, Monique dropped the ball on that. It is what it is, you know. But, I mean, you know, I'm going to be fair because she could have said, yeah, I'll go. It, but she said no. We don't. Okay. And we as, as men, we tend to, everything comes to us as naturally because we're men. You mean as white men? Or as white men. Because as a black man, it don't come, it don't come I'm the last one. I'm at the bottom of the barrel. For, for the people who could call it, for white men, everything is natural. It, it's like it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's supposed to happen. Like. For women, it's not, especially for women of color, is is not that easy. Well, look so, at the pecking order. It's still white man, white woman, black woman, black man. So true. stop. No, it's, I think sisters come after us. No, no, because you, it's a double kim, it's a double whammy. Right. You get a woman and a minority. So true. no. I, I, what what I will say on on a superhero tip is that they need to. Ha- I, I think they need to have more generic driven characters as females. I like uh uh. Scarlett Johansson. In Black Widow. Yeah. Yeah. And she it, Russian. And she Russian in the suit in that black suit. <laughs> yeah, but if they would have put that, a that if my question to you, would have been would it have been correct to put a black woman in that role? Yeah. I, w- I could have went totally black a black widow, Russian. Black, yeah, you've seen one of those? No, they couldn't. Have <laughs> caught, they couldn't have made it. Uh, I've seen the drink, <laughs> but I haven't seen you know, the actual character they couldn't make her black as she's Russian but my point is is that they need I, I see what Michelle Rodriguez's point is like why are you so offended by it some roles are just that it's hard for me to believe Green Lantern it's hard for me to believe Thor was a fe- is going to now be a female or a Green Lantern is going to be a female so but create your own and just like I mean somebody had to create Wonder Woman and she's still around 64 
50, 60 years. And she's yeah. in the back Wonder of the pecking order. Sexy. No, Wonder Woman's still up there. Wait till DC come out with their stuff. I think Wonder Woman. Yeah, her movie's be, coming out like 2018. I know, but. They st- can still use the original Wonder Woman, though. And it will work. She's, yo, she's still it would work for me. It, w- it would work for me. I don't know. Okay. Wonder, Wonder Woman would Who work would for you? be the new black African American? Mighty ISIS. Yeah, ISIS. Wonder Woman. Who would be. Okay. Shazam did have ISIS. Uh, ISIS. Complaint. Came so, on. so back you you wouldn't put Pam Greer as yes. a as a Wonder Woman. You wouldn't yes. put her as a superhero. I mean, can you all please I name would. four sexy African American black women, black queens who would be your superheroes? Name four. Can I get to Raji as Ghetto Woman? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and let me say something too. Yeah. And um, seriously, Big Rube, I don't want to take away from your segment, but let me just put this out here as well because again, when I was listening to Legacy Internet Radio prior to when I got here, no big joke because you made this for me and I'm going to drink it. <laughs> Um, let me say this about Taraji P. Henson, and I hope that she's listening because I'm sure she listens to Legacy Internet Radio. Of course, duh. Who, Who doesn't? Yeah. Block. So, Taraji, let me tell you, I love her. I I do, and I and I love her before because of her passion, because of her spunk, because of her drive. But again, hey, you don't have spunk. to agree with me. That's fine. But she cannot act. She is not a good actress. And really? let me tell you why I say this. And if you've noticed. She, and she even was if, nominated. No, 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 no. no. Oh, 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 okay, so you can get employee of the month and still not do a damn thing at work. What the hell does that mean? Benjamin <laughs> Button. Y'all didn't see but, Benjamin but let Button? let me tell you. If you notice almost in everything, she does not act. She acts like herself. She acts like if she went to Howard U, which she did. <laughs> For real. She just acts like her. If I don't know. Her, She's believable. Baby boy. But. But that's because, she, she, for real, she doesn't switch she it up. She's being a sister. She's not an actress. Right. She doesn't, like, switch up her character. Have you watched Persons of Interest? No, I have not. She's on Persons of Interest? Yes. The TV show? Yes. But for real, she acts like, for real, she acts no, like she a ain't. hood black broad. She acts like I mean, yeah, she, I, she, she might be. No, she ain't. She got killed no, off a year ago, which yeah. is the reason why but I she was up, watching that show. Well, yeah. but she was up there for, what, two seasons? And she got killed off. That's so you mean to tell me she's typecast as watching. the sister? She's ty- she's typecast as Shirley Hemphill. No. <laughs> no. Damn! Did you go Shirley from what's yeah, happening? Yeah, yeah, all that's why I said no. Right. No. No. She's no, not. No. Is she that type? Wasn't how she was ty- I don't think she's typecast like that because I've seen her in other roles, such as in Benjamin Button, where she played the mama. The mom. Yeah, yeah. she's played a bunch of different roles. I mean, she play- I mean, she did do the battered sister thing for a minute with uh, Idris Elba. In a lot of those movies, but um, I like her. Yo, the last movie she did with Idris Elba, she was she played a strong sister. Yeah. Who <laughs> chicken wings. Chicken wings. Yeah, she was talking about some chicken wings. Real, you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we want some chicken wings. <laughs> some chicken wings. <laughs> All right. All right. No, we good. Um, you know, actually. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's all I have. We're going to wrap it up on chicken wings. Marcus J. Ain't no half step on Marcus J. <laughs> I can't believe he said that. Marcus said that for the longest time and didn't say anything. That's a good host of a radio show. Yo, let me tell you, that's all right. Okay, all right. Because he let us let go Let me put ahead. my stuff out there because, you know, when you feel a little loose, everybody wants to grab the mic and he say a whole bunch of stuff. As we did. But let me just say this. All right, because I know we're about to wrap it up. It's on. We're coming up upon the ten o'clock hour. Are we there yet? Yeah. Okay. So eight minutes past. That's okay because you all love us. That's because you're. That's why you're still listening. You all listening to us here at Lexi Internet Radio, and again prior to me hearing everybody, you know, at the beginning the un- introductions and everything. Marcus J. Let's go ahead and just talk a little bit about him. Yeah, shall let's we? Talk about we Mark. shall. Let's talk let's about. Do. Let's talk about Marcus J. Okay. <laughs> so yes, we started. They started from Big Rube's kitchen. Yes, they, they did. The and now, now they're here. Yeah. You feel me? In the so day. because this man works so very hard, and yes, again, we recognize that he has a partner too in Big Rube. But Marcus J. You there, man? His <laughs> you, 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 You're there. We appreciate you. Yeah, Everybody bro. here at Legacy Internet Radio appreciates you because you, my friend, Sir hey, Johnson, vision. you set the tone, okay? So we, we appreciate you. You bring the facts. You bring the realness. 
people know when they listen to your show because the numbers, again, which we receive every Sunday, sir, show <laughs> that you are number one. Why? Because they love you. He they put know, in the work. They know when they turn on Legacy Internet Radio on Monday nights, they know that they're going to hear the real from Marcus J and his group. Can so I, while you're praising everybody else, your fans love you, man. Can I piggyback on that? We love you. When I finish, lay off that <laughs> stuff so you won't interrupt next time for next year's anniversary. Yeah. But again, I'm going to put that out there, and I'm going to make this part of my rant and my closing so you won't have to come to me later. But let me just say, Sir Johnson, Marcus J., we appreciate you, sir. We congratulate you on your two-year anniversary for Lexi and Net Radio. We know this is your baby. We know this is your dream. This is what you do. This is what you were made of. Your family, everybody knows it. Your close friends, they know it. And now your new family, us, we know it. You have the gift of gab. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and sometimes I hate that you're so damn smart because I'm like, yo, can't who, wants make to, wrong. who wants to talk to make this smart wrong. person? Yeah, I'm going to be so wrong. I'm not going to win. But again, that's so great because not only are you a man, but you're a black man. You're a black man with so much knowledge that it's that it's great. We can learn so much from you. Shut up, Joe. He's jealous. <laughs> that's why he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're but it's good though. Here. Seriously. P O P, Mama. Hope but, you but it's good, man. <laughs> it, 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 and it's good because. For real, to wrap it up, you care. We know you care. You're our friend. You're our brother. We yeah. love you. We appreciate you. We know you keep it going. We know you're going to continue to keep it going. Even when you get on your international status, which you already think. Hey, Dave from LA, LA we appreciate you. He's ours, though. Don't try it, man. We love you. But don't try to take them from us. Seriously, we will come to LA. We might got to come one at a time because we ain't got that money to get no ticket. No For right. real. But we'll come one at a time. He's ours. You get a loan for my bank. Marcus J., thank you. Thank you. That's thank you. Big. That can, was, can I? Can go I, ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm going to go. All right. Go ahead, Joe. Get it out. We're going to do a fair boy. That was heartfelt. We're going to do a fair boy. We're going to do a fair boy. Marcus J., be quiet. Go, Joe. Marcus J., be quiet. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. I have to echo the sentiments of Marcus J. Hey, Marcus J., be quiet. Go, Joe. 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 Marcus J., be quiet. Go,
<laughs> one more time for my, my big brother, my little big brother, Real Talk, you know, Big Rube, Jay Grizzy. Yeah. <laughs> and this thing right here, <laughs> this <laughs> sexy comedian, she this a pee. <laughs> she just did the wobble wobble. Shake it, shake it. Hey. <laughs> hey, Real Talk, yo, this is, it's, been a, it's been crazy and fun. And I look forward to being... You know, right here with some chicken and waffles later on and keep it moving. I'm hungry as a bitch. Go get some chicken wings, though. <laughs> Yo, That's Grizzy. All right, uh, Grizzy, look. wrap it up for him. All right, I will wrap it up. Look, I remember when I, when I started doing a, a internet radio or podcast, so to speak, and Carlton Banks was the first person I reached out to. And I, wanted, I, I had it in my mind. I said I wanted a three-man crew who was talking sports and – I said, all right, Carlton. I, I, I was going to get Carlton because I've known him ever since we were, like, 13 years old. Mm-hmm. And then I said I needed somebody that could add an element to the show that was different from me and Carlton. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, who do I know that's like that? And I think uh, I'm, I met Mark probably, what did you say, 2000, turn of the century, somewhere around there? Somewhere in yeah. that neighborhood. And I said, you know what? And, and it, honestly – other than you know, at the spot we used to, uh, that we worked at at one spo- at one point in the early two thousands, like I was like I, I didn't keep in contact with him, when I, but he came, he was the first person that came up to me, and I, I told Carlton I was like, yo, what is what what Mark up to, man? And he was like, um, I don't know, just get my holler. And that was for some reason from me just meeting this guy, I was like, that's gonna be the guy that gonna make the trifecta work, you know? Yeah, and it, man. And it did. It, it it did for that amount of time that we did that sports show at that other station that we used to be on. Word. You know what I'm saying? And then when I when I approached him, he said to me, and quote, I, I, I'll paraphrase. He said, "You don't know how I want how, how bad this avenue or this 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 way of doing media that I wanted to do." And I was like, "Whatever, nigga." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "If it works for you, it works for you." You know. And um, so now that I've seen him take that and then run with it and have a vision Definitely. to a, 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 and say, this is what I want to do and mold it in, in, in almost in his own image. Because he's got a lot of personalities right. he's got to deal with, right. especially me. Right. You know, right. But just to just to balance that and, right. and, and to and to have legacy in that radio up and running yes. with Big Rube, yes. you know, starting out. In the West End apartment on right. the on the on the uh, what we call it a bar? What is it? Right. The island? Right. Yeah, it was the island. You know, right. we, that same board, literally. Right. You know, Yo, it's a lot. All right. this damn equipment is, is the it, same it, shit. No, we, we got some new night. mics. We got some we got new, new mics. mics, but the rest of this shit is <laughs> it's the, same the same shit. Mike's just to right. see that, and just to see, right. and to know how much he put he puts forth into it, and how much he. You know, de- is dedicated and is committed to it. Yes. People don't don't underestimate the commitment it takes to run yes. your own stuff. Right. Especially when you got other right. people involved. So right. hats off to you, brother. Two years up right. and running. I'm sure you're gonna have many more years in some way, fashion, or form. You're gonna be doing this. So I'm glad to be sitting here with you tonight, chopping it up, messing up your show, dropping right. four letter words and everything else, brother. Oh right. fuck. Fish fry miles this weekend because right. of that one right there. So, so it, it, it's it's just yeah, it's, it's, it's just good <laughs> it's just good it's just good to see somebody that says right. you know what this is what I want to do I put my mind to it I took the ball and I ran with it right. because for me right. myself I was like mm-hmm. you, you mm-hmm. dropped the ball yeah. Yeah. I was like hey mm-hmm. it ain't for me but some but right. it, at least somebody else right. saw it and then say you know what. Right. This is what I want to do, and I'm going to do it full fledged. And I can't say he hasn't done it full fledged because it's not a day of the week that yeah. he ain't here in the day. Right. And and let me just say this before we pass it off to really the man of the hour. I just want to wrap it up again by saying and putting this in that um, he does care because I will put out there because I will put myself out there first. We're lazy. So in order to be ahead of, in, in order to be ahead of a company, to have people not even say under you because we're all family, to continue to you know get it going and not having everybody on the same page, but he continues to make sure. And can you hold on for one minute? He is. I am, and I hear we have a caller. Yeah, so we got a caller. Important. Yeah, we got a caller. Shot. Caller, you calling in to it ain't no half stepping with Marcus J live from the den of Legacy Internet Radio on our two year anniversary. 
Live from the Den, the flagship show of Legacy in that radio. Call her, what's your name? Where you calling from? What you want? It's S.Y. I want you. Oh, hell. <laughs> Hang up. She done got home. <laughs> Click. Took, she done put, she done put her slippers you. on. <laughs> she done put her hair wrap on with the sofa eight and everything else. Shut up. Bergamot. Bergamot. Shut What's up, up girl? Listen, seriously, I just wanted to call again. I just wanted to say again, happy anniversary. Hey. I am very happy that you guys started Legacy Internet Radio. I'm very happy to be a part of Legacy Internet Radio and be a part of such wonderful people be in their lives. You guys are wonderful. You guys are great, and I love you, and I'm so glad that you, you, you're sharing that with me. So, again, congratulations. That was it. You're welcome. I know Mark has something to say on that. Go ahead, Marcus J. Thank you for calling. We appreciate it. <laughs> S.Y. S- look, for, for, for <laughs> folks who don't know, S.Y. was the first she was she was the first person in on Legacy and that radio. I I want to say it was back when we was at Ruben's spot. Like she listened, she no. called. It wasn't. Get, correct me there. Taya, thank you, Taya, for being it one was of up, your Taya. number one fans in Vegas. Yeah. But no, that's why I was on it early. Oh yeah. Oh seriously, yeah. For she, real. She was Before on it she early. Before she came to the Legacy Internet Radio family, she was. Um, we were like, who fans. is this chick? Seriously, yeah. She we was, thought she was a little heavy headed. We was like, why is she calling me? She really <laughs> represented it, so we do appreciate her because not only did, was she a fan, but she watch became watch family. So watch. thanks, yeah. Whatever. Thank you for calling in, co host. We appreciate it. We're going to talk to you next week. All right, baby. Have a good night, y'all. Love you. you got it. Peace. Peace, peace. peace. You a lot of time. Mark right. is all yours, brother. Yeah, it's your show. Hour. It's two yeah. years. Two You've years. been doing this in long, well, man. Get it, baby. You go get ahead and do baby. your thing, brother. You gonna give it to him, son? They want it from me. I'm gonna give you. it to him give it after to him. the give break. Ain't no ask that, Marcus J. I'm gonna give you my words after we take this final break of the night. <laughs> transition, rants and closings. Marcus J. J. Grizzy, Big Rule, Big Bro Joe, you. First Lady, Me and Nestle, P. Ow, ow. Marcus J. Ain't no half stepping. Marcus J. Be back in a minute.